Hey everybody, it's your boy JPG, aka JPEG, aka DJ Dig Dog, aka Daddy, if that's what you like. Happy Doctober, everyone. Hope you've found that special someone or some ones to really connect with this month, if you know what I mean. Uh, this is Chippendale Rescue Rangers for the NES. I have fond memories of playing this as a kid, but I don't have fond memories of beating it as a kid, because I never did. I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was young at the time, not as good at games as I am now. Maybe it was because I always played it two-player with my brother or my parents and... Maybe that complicated things, but yeah, revisiting it now for making this video, I was surprised at how easy it is and how short because I didn't remember it being that way when I was younger. Didn't feel that way when I was younger. You run around and you pick up stuff and you throw it at enemies and all that good stuff. I really want to know... Why there are so many crates, and why they are so tiny. They are chipmunk-sized. I want to know what those would be used for. Go ahead and leave a suggestion in the comments for what you think... What you think the purpose of tiny boxes would be. It's been a while since we did one of these. I don't know if you've noticed or not, it's been over two years. The intention of having these little channel updates was, you know, to post them during breaks between playthroughs, and we haven't really had any breaks in playthroughs for quite some time. Things were being dragged out, and new projects were being started while the previous ones hadn't been finished yet, so there hasn't been a clean break until now. And... I don't really want to make excuses for why things have kind of gone the way they have, but there are, you know, a couple of things that might be relatable. You know, the pandemic being one of them. Uh, it's complicated a lot of things for a lot of people, at best. At worst, uh, people have had some very bad things happen in their lives. Uh, my family has been fortunate. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, that it remains that way. Um, I haven't gotten sick that I'm aware of. My parents haven't gotten sick that they're aware of. My grandparents haven't gotten sick. Uh, everybody's doing what they should be doing with the distancing, limiting places that they go, keeping their hands washed, keeping their faces masked, getting vaccinated, all that good stuff. We're, we're trying. And it's, it's working so far. Hopefully. My aunt and my cousin, they are in nursing. So they were around things a bit more, and as a result, they did get sick, but nothing too severe. And it's possible that my other cousin got sick at one point, but he doesn't know for sure. He's just... he's pretty sure that he did. But yeah, anybody that did get sick in my family, it was not a severe case. Everybody's still around and healthy and... I know that's not the case for everybody out there, so I consider me and my family to be very lucky. We're doing our best to be careful, taking care of ourselves, taking care of others, and I know that hasn't been something that everybody can say, you know, not everybody has been as fortunate. Not everybody has had the luxuries that that we've had, and all I can say is I really hope that 
if you're listening to this, you know, you've been doing okay, your family's been doing okay, and if that hasn't been the case, I'm really sorry. And, uh, we're not out of it yet. One day we will be. Hopefully that day is sooner rather than later, but... Yeah. Um... So yeah, the... It's complicated things, and has made things more difficult when it comes to having the freedom that I would need to do recordings and videos and stuff as often as I would prefer. There's been some other things along the way that also really made it tough at times. But when I do have that luxury to record, that freedom to get stuff done, I'm trying my best to take advantage of it. I just... I don't want to get into too many details about, you know, my my life and everything. Just letting you know I'm, I'm trying as best I can with getting stuff done. And hopefully, things might be looking a little bit better at the moment. But, unfortunately, I, I can't say that it's always going to be looking good. So... I, I hate to be that person that talks about, you know, supporting me and stuff. I try to keep it kind of subtle, kind of just in the background there. I have my little thing at the end of the videos that says, like, subscribe, and stuff like that. I have a donation and Patreon link in the video descriptions, but I don't talk about it out loud. I don't try to draw too much attention to it. But I will say that, you know, if you if you like my stuff and you want to see me continuing to do stuff, maybe even with a little bit more frequency, then there's things that can go a long way towards making that happen. I know, especially now, that not everybody has even a dollar to give. So, I, I understand that, you know, monetary support isn't always an option, or maybe it's not something you really want to do at all. That's fine. Um, there's other things that you can do that don't require any money. The first is watching videos. You're, if you're here and you're watching this, good job. Thumbs up. It's great. You know, I imagine there's a lot of people that are watching this video that have watched my other videos, so that's great. Uh, the next thing that you could do is, you know, the, the classic like, comment, subscribe. Things that tell YouTube, hey, there's people that, you know, they they enjoy this video, they enjoy the this channel, maybe we should recommend it to other people. And aside from that, you know, it does me some good by having evidence that what I'm doing is enjoyed by people that are watching. Um, those likes, they, they, they give me the feel-good chemicals. Subscriptions, they give me the feel-good chemicals too, and it does help me get closer to being able to become like a YouTube partner, or whatever they call it. Uh, my goal for this year was to get to 400 subscribers, and I'm... To be optimistic about it, I'm not quite there. Uh, really hasn't been a lot of movement, uh, upward movement, for my subscription count. And I would love to see that change. So if you haven't subscribed, you know, consider doing so. Because it helps me out, and hopefully it's not an inconvenience for you. Another thing that you can do is just 
tell others about me. If you like my stuff, and there's other people in your life that you think might like this stuff, you could be like, hey, you know, I watched this guy, or, hey, here's this game that you might be interested in seeing a playthrough of, things like that, you know? Tell your friends, tell your your brothers and your your mothers and your fathers and your sons and daughters, sisters, your step-uncles, you know, I mean, just... Tell your teacher, tell your classmates, tell, you know, I don't know. I don't know who you would tell. But just helping to make people aware that, hey, there's this stuff that you might enjoy. That helps. And then, like I said, you know, I have a donation link if you just want to throw a couple bucks my way sometime. If you want to do some more consistent financial support, there's the Patreon. And... I'm not in a position where I can really offer incentives for becoming a patron, but maybe that would change in the future. Right now I have one patron, so trying to offer promises, it's just not something that I can do at the moment. But that could change. A lot of things about my channel and about the stuff that I do could change if I continue to grow. So, yeah, I I try not to really put that out there like this, but I figure if I'm going to, um, a channel update video is a good, good place to do that, right? Uh, another thing that kind of complicated things the past couple of years... Especially when one of those playthroughs that I've been doing was a co-op game with my friend Michael. Or co-op games. We've been going through the We Were Here series. And, you know, being online co-op, you kind of need to have good internet for that. And my internet provider decided to completely go to shit. I don't want to kind of regale you with the whole long-form story. And I'm sure there's a few of you that have heard it already before in the past during the many, many times I've complained about it on different platforms, different places. But the short of it is I have lost all consistency with getting the internet speeds that I'm supposed to be getting. And the company that I have, the provider that I have, I've had them ever since cable internet was a thing in my area. It's... Oof. It's gotta be, like, at least 25 years. And I've stuck with them partly because they've been really good, and partly because maybe you can relate to this, there's no other options in your area. And not, not in mine. I've looked because of the issues I've been having. And my options were another cable internet, which was offering like a tenth of the speeds that I'm supposed to be getting with my current provider. So obviously not a good option. And dial-up. Dial-up is still a thing. So, <laughs> again, not, not really an option. Although I was morbidly curious about that, but things were not moving forward on resolving these issues. They just weren't. I was going in circles and things were really bad. The whole support system for the company has gone just to shit. And I'm going to blame that on them being bought out by another company. Because that's kind of what I've been told by other people within the company. That you know, it's not just me seeing these problems. There's people that actually work there that see these problems. Things like having no direct means of communication with anybody. Everything being automated forms and whatnot. And there's people within the company that can abuse those things. Like, say you have somebody who's scheduled to come out to do some work. And you wait all day for them. And then 
nobody calls, nobody lets you know anything, and then you call and say, hey, uh, somebody was supposed to come out, and they didn't. And then the person you're talking to says, well, it shows on the record here, uh, the person said they came out and fixed it. And you have to tell them, um, no, that absolutely did not happen. And having something like that happen more than once, and always having to start over and tell the story all over again to the next person you talk to, and having to file claims with the FTC and the, the Better Business Bureau, and, you know, finally getting responses from executives, and actually finally getting some things moving forward to resolve these issues. And to their credit, things finally did start happening. But... It's still not perfect. It's still not reliable. Which sucks. And... Yeah, so being able to consistently record with Michael, who's... three hours behind me in time difference, who's in Canada... It's, uh... You know... Playing a game online, you need that internet to kind of work. And it's been a real frustrating experience. The good news, though, is now a company, another company, seems to be setting up fiber in my area. I got a little notice on my door saying that they've been setting up fiber, and I've been actually noticing it being set up on the poles in the area. So... Maybe that's something that I will be able to change to in the near future. Maybe that will finally be the answer that I've been looking for. Maybe I'll even be able to get back into streaming. That was another thing that really got impacted by the connection issues, is I tried to stream, like, twice a week. And I just was not getting the speeds that I would need for doing any streaming. And it just, you know, just bad things all around. <sighs> uh, so, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I'll have some, some good news in my life on that front in the near future. We'll have to see kind of going back and looking at the things that I've done over the past couple of years here. We can talk about Tony Hawk. I finished Underground 2, which was also Underground 2 Remix for the PSP. So that was like a two-in-one. I put a lot of work into that. And then you gotta think about, okay, am I gonna do more Tony Hawk games? If I were to do another video playthrough... It would be American Wasteland, the next one in the series, but I'm still not sure if that would really work as a video playthrough, because the way that that game is laid out, it's... I could not do the game the same way that I've done, like, Underground 1 and Underground 2. Like, I could not really plan out, like, routes and try to show off expert gameplay, because there's so little that's asked of you. There's gameplay mechanics that are gated behind progress. There's stat upgrades that are gated behind progress, so I can't, you know, kind of do everything in, like, at the start, or I can't do chunks of them at a time. And not having all the gameplay mechanics available to you until, like, halfway or further into the game, it's... You know, I, I can't show off, so to speak, the same way that I I was doing or would want to do. So I'm not sure if I would do a video playthrough of that. If I get back into streaming, though, I would... If I didn't do videos of it, I would do streams of it. And then the next two games, Project 8 and Proving Ground, those would definitely only be streams. 
I don't know them well enough. I don't have the luxury of save states to make recording go a lot better. For doing, you know, fancy gameplay and whatnot. Uh, Project 8 in particular, I remember being incredibly frustrating because they included these ragdoll mechanics where you can just kind of auto-bail and have your character go ragdoll and then you rack up uh, hospital bills depending on how much damage you cause to your skater. And there are multiple challenges based on those hospital bills, uh, based on launching this ragdoll and expecting precision. Real pain in the ass, for sure. And then some of the skating challenges I remember being difficult. Maybe they really are. Maybe I just remember them being difficult. I don't know. But the bottom line there is yeah, it would not be a fun playthrough for me. Maybe if you wanted to see me suffer on a stream. Then there you go. Uh, the game after that is Proving Ground. And I don't remember having the same frustrations. But I remember being kind of bored with it. Just kind of over the whole thing. And I didn't complete everything in the game. I just, I beat it. Got to the credits and I moved on. So... I, again, I don't know if my feelings would be the same revisiting it now. But still, that would be a stream. That would be a stream game. Because trying to record that, especially in the way that I like to do the games... It just... It wouldn't happen. It wouldn't. Uh, what else did we do? I think the last update I did was after Until Dawn. I think. But yeah, so uh, we did Man of Medan, which was essentially like the follow-up to Until Dawn. Made by the same company, same style of game. It took a while for me to get on the same page with the game. There are just enough differences to kind of throw me off. And there were times where I felt like I just wasn't understanding what the, the game wanted from me. But by the end of things, I warmed up to it a lot. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to doing Little Hope, which I'm hopefully going to have out soon for my Halloween game. I like to do Halloween games. I like to have that little theme going. It's, uh, it's an excuse to try something. You know, because I don't typically play spooky games or even spoopy games. You know, it's it's an excuse for me to to branch out a little bit and just kind of do something fun, and I like to have fun with Halloween. So yeah, Little Hope will be coming, and maybe having more of an understanding of what they're going for with the whole Dark Pictures anthology, that I won't have as many hang-ups as I did going into Man of Medan. So that's the plan with that. Uh, I'm also going to be doing not just one Halloween game, but two, if everything goes to plan. Some of you may have already seen the teaser that I put up a couple weeks ago. Gregory Horror Show, Soul Collector for the PS2. It's a game that I tried to do many, many, many years ago, and there were problems that caused me to have to abandon it. But now, I'm going to be revisiting it and completing it for the first time ever. I'm looking forward to that, and I've already made a lot of progress on that playthrough in particular, so that's definitely happening. Little hope I, I want to have happen. I just need to get a little bit further along with those plans before I can say for sure. So, at least one game for Halloween, but I would love to do two 
Like I said, I've been moving a bit faster on things. I've had more freedom at the moment. Things have been looking up at the moment, so I've been putting in a lot of work on stuff. And that's why I would want to do two, to kind of make up for things being slower past a uh, couple of years. Jeez. And, uh, you know, just feel good about being able to just kind of be back on that grind again, so to speak. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, another thing that I did in the past two years was... Game Changer! I put out a video for a potential series that I wanted to do. Called Game Changer, and the idea there was to kind of look at... Adaptations of video games, whether it be something made into a movie, or a TV show, or or a board game, or a comic book, or, a, you know, all kinds of different things, where you take a video game and you translate it into another concept, another medium. And I was really happy with the first one I did, which was based on a, the Super Mario Brothers anime, a 60-minute movie that came out only in Japan uh, back in the 80s. I thought that was a good place to start with things, something that's familiar, but also not familiar. Mario Brothers being familiar, the anime itself not being familiar. And I have plans for what the next video would be of that series, but it's been so long now that I'm probably going to refine things a little bit and see where I go with that. I have plans for a lot of future episodes, it's just a matter of being able to buckle down and put the work in that I would need to put in. So, that hasn't been abandoned, it's just, you know, takes a while. That's a very big thing to do. A lot of work goes into that. And, yeah, that uh, we'll see what goes on with that. Hopefully, one day... You will see episode 2, maybe even episode 3 and, and 4, and keep going with that. So, if you haven't watched it, I would suggest you go ahead and watch that and give me some feedback, because, you know, you never know when I'll be able to put out episode 2. And if you have suggestions on what I could do differently, you know, now is the time to do that. So, yeah, uh, Game Changer, still chipping away at that. We have little hope, hopefully. <laughs> it's, uh, no pun intended there, but... Yeah. And Gregory Horror Show. Those are the things coming up. Uh, thank you very much for checking out this new channel update. And hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed me rescuing some rangers or whatever the heck these little rats do. Uh, another thing, if you have suggestions for short games like this, things that are take less than an hour to beat, you know, for future channel updates, let me know. Uh, leave me feedback on everything. That helps so much in me figuring out what I want to do, what I can do differently, what you want to see. You know, it gives me inspiration. It helps out so much to hear from you guys about things. You know, so I'm not just putting videos out there into the void and not knowing what people think about them, not knowing what people think about me. And if I just keep doing the same stuff over and over and you don't like seeing the same stuff over and over, well, then, you know, say something. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching this channel update. Fingers crossed that things can just only keep getting up from here. Or going up from here. I have no problem with things getting up, believe me. <clears throat> yeah. Love you very, very much. Mwah. I'll see you with a new playthrough very soon. Maybe even two. You have yourself a wonderful day, wonderful week, wonderful month, wonderful rest of the year, wonderful 2022, beyond, love you, love you very, very much, can't stress that enough, got lots of love for all of you, Mwah. another kiss for you, because I love you so much, bye bye. <laughs>